Come on, yes, here we go! <gasps> Town Hall level 3! Ah, oh, I'm so good at video games. I wonder if I can prove it somehow. Hmm, what's the hardest game I can play? Let's see. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Make you feel like Dark Souls. Okay, okay, I get it. Dark Souls. Wait, this guy beat it damageless. This guy beat all five games in a row without getting hit once. This isn't enough. I need more of a challenge. That's it. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find and complete the hardest video game of all time. First thing is to find the hardest game, and the first place I looked is YouTuber Rage Compilations. If anyone is looking to find something to get mad at, it's them. And this I Wanna Be The Guy popped up. It's an old Flash game that has downright unfair platforming, but once you learn the patterns, it isn't too bad. However, I'll let you in on a little secret. In 2010, there was an unofficial fan-made spiritual successor to the game, a harder version of the hardest game on YouTube, I Wanna Be The Boshy. So where do we start with the tutorial to learn the mechanics of this fair but challenging game? <laughs> Did I just get body slammed by my own mouse? My mouse, my cursor, kills me. If I come into contact with the cursor, I die. Which, by the way, constantly moves toward me. Yeah, no, that's fine. That seems fair. I don't see anything wrong with- I'm moving off the screen. It's not cheating. I'm just outsmarting the game. The rest of the tutorial says you can double jump, these pellets give you an extra jump, and if you shoot the save button in the face, it says... Now to start the real game! This is the start of our adventure, a new beginning to prove myself. Where should I go first? Then I forgot that the mouse kills you for 5 minutes. Okay guys, I'm out of the mouse trap. time to actually play the game. Where the hell do I go now? Okay, I'm gonna make that jump on the left. Yes! Finally! What will be my prize? It better be like wings or a shield. Or flubber. What's that? 10% more awesome! Okay, that's helpful! Shh! I have found an endangered animal. Seems to be some sort of rejected Disney companion. And once we get past him, we get to the true challenge. The Cooper level. There's only one way to beat this. Unlock Luigi! <laughs> So I've been on the character select screen for about 5 minutes now, uh, I've got Luigi but I can't seem to leave. If I press escape it just says it back to me, mocking me. Damn this game's so hard even the options menu is impossible. Oh good guys, just bought a new PC and re-downloaded the game, back at it again. With my new character I was able to beat Coopers and get a brand new item, the mixer. It lets me change the speed of the in-game music. And I do apologise for the audio for the next part of the video, I may have had a bit too much fun with this. Now I advise you to save here because what happens next, well, it's quite simple really. You just walk over the platform, dodge the gigantic screaming spider, step back and dodge it again, and immediately run to the right because a bird will start chasing you at three times the speed that the cursor did. Jump through these platforms knowing if you ever stop you'll combust when this beacon nudges you, all while wondering what the hell is a boshi? A couple more non-stop platforming screens with falling platforms and then you reach the cave. Stop just before the spikes and the bird will inflate and die. Whew. Then there's a Hello Kitty boss fight! Yeah, so I think I'm gonna try a different game, not because this is too hard for me, but because later you have to verse a certain copyrighted fast blue character. Yes, Papa Smurf. But that last battle got me thinking. Platforming and dodging bullets is tough, but what about just dodging bullets? What about dodging an entire screen of bullets? Picture yourself in middle school playing dodgeball, but the entire class is on the other team against you. They have laser rifles, three SWAT teams, and Ricky Gervais roasting you on the side. That's like the first level of Mushihima Summer. You see these purple circles? If a single one of them hits me, I die. One hit and you're dead. I personally use this game as preparation for job interviews. Think of the stress of being on this screen. Am I proficient in Microsoft PowerPoint? Are you kidding me? Well, no, I'm not, but I got a high score in a Japanese shooting game, so it doesn't help that my resume looks like this. Oh, also, everything I've shown you so far has been on the easiest difficulty. Do you want to see the hardest one? If you manage to get to the later levels where there's 27 different enemies on the screen, you get a cool power-up, slow motion, or as it's better known, frame rate drop. 
But sadly, they added infinite continue screens, making this the easiest game I've ever played. And I think I win. That was a fun bug slaughtering game, even though it wasn't that tough. Wait, there's a cutscene? There's a storyline in this game? <laughs> Who are these characters? This is the first I've heard of them. Oh, I don't care about any of this. I just want more shooting. No, Aki! <laughs> Why couldn't it have been me? Uh, okay, um, that game seems to have really pulled me in. I've forgotten about the world, let alone other difficult video games. <clears throat> anyway, how about Don't Shoot the Puppy? Don't Shoot the Puppy is as simple as the title implies. If I can never get it to load. Uh, maybe it's a big game? Could take a while. I'm starting a timer to see when this will finish. Instead, now we can go on to the main attraction. 5D Chess with Multiverse Time Travel. I don't think I need to explain why this game could be difficult. The title does a pretty goddamn good job of that. Before we go online and destroy some people's egos, I'll learn the rules by practicing on some bots. I lost? What? I lost to the easy AI. I must not have time traveled enough. So I'm not going to explain how this game works to you, because if I do, I'm scared that you'll get infinitely worse at it. I can't seem to win a single game ever. What's happening to me? How about I try a challenge level? Uh, okay, I actually won that, but I have no idea how. How does that make any sense? <sighs> I can't do it. I can't win at 5D chess. Was this all pointless? I murdered innocent bugs. I mocked an animal. I tried to kill a poppy for God's sake. I just wanted to be the best. Wait, I seem to remember something. When I was searching difficult games, learn to play the most complex video game ever made, Dwarf Fortress. Well, when you've got nothing to lose, kill yourself. Well, um, make lemon. No, I don't know. I'm gonna play this hard game now. Okay, so the graphics aren't great. That's all right. It's all about the gameplay. This is some calming music, damn. I hope it doesn't get annoying on loop for 12 hours. Let's go and create a world. I guess I have to wait for hundreds of years. Now that that's done, we can move on to- Oh, another loading screen, good. And finally, we get to give our dwarves jobs, like miner, woodcutter, carpenter, keyboardist. Keyboardist? Yeah, you know, when you're starting a stone age civilization from scratch, you're gonna wanna have someone there who can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Really get the morale going. Are you ready to embark? Yes, absolutely. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, um, th this is this is the game? Is that my dwarf? The yellow smiley face? Can we go back to the intro graphics? I'm sorry about complaining. They're beautiful. Now that's a great dwarf. What is this? Well, I guess now I'm here, better learn how to use the controls. You know how the Xbox controller has like an A, B, Y, and X? Well, here we have the entire goddamn alphabet, plus symbols, because they ran out of letters. Oh, they were at least nice enough to put a help button on the menu. Let's see what this has for us. I'm in the help menu, and the first piece of advice is losing is fun. That can't be a good sign. Hmm, how do I scroll down? The arrow keys aren't working. The mouse scrolling isn't working. What button scrolls? Okay, so after pressing every button on my keyboard, I figured it out. If you want to scroll up, you press the minus key. And if you want to scroll down, you hold shift and then press the plus key. That makes sense, I guess, except why not just use the arrow keys? It means you have to switch from holding shift and releasing every time you scroll. It's infuriating. Look, when the help tells you you have no hope but losing, when scrolling through menus is difficult, when I have a skilled keyboardist but can't chop wood or know what wood is or know where I am or if time is passing, then it's a bad game. I quit. Goodbye. Don't shoot the puppy, on the other hand. Now this is a good game. Still waiting for it to load, though. Wait, maybe I need to buy no ads. Oh god, no! We have to start loading again! Okay, I found a different site. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Someone actually said it was the Dark Souls of animal games. I wonder if I can pet the dog. Oh, well, that was a terrible attempt. Like seeing a don't touch sign in front of artwork and then eating it whole. Okay, just gotta not move the mouse or press any keys. Level 1 done, level 2 done. Oh yeah, flash games still have pop-up. What? It tricked me! I thought the internet ads were always trustworthy. It wants me to use the hammer, but but I'm not going to. I, I know I'm onto their schemes now. Aha! Level 10. Surely the final level. Oh, it's gone black. That's easy, I'll just wait. What? Level 11? Hmm, there's no cannon. You know what? No. This is still level 10. You can't fool me. I'm waiting here until it ends. If I press that start button, the puppy dies. I'll be back later, but now... Fly wrench. Select your name. 
I think Dude is probably the coolest name anyway, let's stick with that. Story is you're traveling around the solar system fixing satellites by throwing a wrench through lasers. I don't know if that checks out. Hey science, checks out? Yeah, checks out. It's a standard fast reaction time testing, swap colors, hard to control platformer. But Google said this one is especially hard, so I trusted it. The best part of this game by far is when you lose, the game starts laughing at you. I don't know why this isn't a feature of every game. Next time, I want the developer's face to come up and start insulting me. You do get some pretty cool levels, but the problem is, this game was made in 2015, and I've been told many times that they don't make games like they used to. The old ones were better and tougher. So this can't be the hardest game. I need to find another. I also got to press Enter Uranus, so I count that as a win. I didn't think it would come to this, but desperate times call for drastic games. The Bizarre Adventures of Woodruff and Schnibble. What a title, what a presence. Now this game isn't difficult for its mechanics, it's a point and click adventure, but it's difficult for its nonsensical, impossibly confusing puzzles. I haven't played this before, I've just heard whispers, evil rumors. So let's discover this for the first time. Created by Sierra Entertainment who made Frogger, Donald Duck's Playground, and Wrath of Denethor. I think it's fair to say we're going into a mixed bag. Whoa, stars everywhere, what happened to me? So I guess this is me? May as well try to figure out what's going on. Yes sir, that house behind us, who does it belong to? It belongs to Professor Asimov. He's a respected man known for his scientific work on time. That voice? Why is that voice coming out of that face? Why is the voice so friendly but the face so... Ah! Surprisingly though, the animation is pretty good. Oh. Hey, I've never seen you around here before. Have you paid all your taxes? Uh. Over dramatic faces, extreme reactions. There is so much small attention to detail here. I kind of love it. You can go to the title screen of the game. The animators have a self-insert fourth wall joke. This is amazing. But now we get to the puzzles. You have to walk to the edge of town, lift this box up and get the nut under it. And you want to throw it at this guy, but the game doesn't let you unless you've already stepped into acid water. You think I can cross? Absolutely. There's no danger. You can go ahead. Trust me. Hey, I mean, at least the voice match is a bit better this time. Now that you've proven he's a scumbag, you can assault him. Then he'll throw you back a leather boot. So you go back home to hit the boot that was on your roof the whole time with your new boot so that they both fall down. Then you put them on, walk across the river, and talk to your conscience about going into a bar. And that is only the first puzzle of the game. They get absolutely insane. But I think I can handle it. The charming animation, the fourth wall jokes, the voice acting, it all carries this game for me. This is my favorite game. This is the hardest game, and I am going to beat it, claiming my spot as the most skilled video game player of all time. <laughs> Wait, what's that timer from? Oh god, that's right. I'm still on level 11. It isn't over? I still have to beat this game. Woodruff was a distraction. The true toughest game has always been Don't Shoot the Puppy. Level 11 was real, but no match for me. Level 12 kept the start button after I clicked, trying to bait me in. The dog has fallen asleep. What sick person made this? There's a fly buzzing around. Will it knock my mouse and ruin the run? The ghost dog has taken the lead. Level 15 is about to be complete. <gasps> is that a speedrun world record? In the end, the hardest game is resisting our human instincts. We feel the power. We want to kill the puppy. The most difficult thing is to let go.